In this video, we're going to show you some of the techniques used to build the Series Drogue kit from Sailrite. The Jordan Series Drogue is recommended by the Coast Guard. Kits can be purchased two ways, either the cone kit or the complete kit, which includes the line. First, make your, the appropriate measurements on your cone and the nylon tape. Here are the measurements. You may want to pause here to study this. After the measurements are put on the material, then all you need to do is uh, uh, transfer that over to one single cone. I like to build one cone and actually use double-sided tape to baste everything in place, and then I like to use that cone for the pattern for all the other cones. Again, the amount of cones necessary for your series drogue depends on the di displacement of your boat, and you need to follow those Coast Guard recommendations for that, and we have a chart in our catalog and on the website. So once the double-sided tape's in place on the uh, nylon tape, then just baste it to the cone according to those measurements that you put on that first cone as your pattern. So here we are putting the nylon tape on, and uh, you can tell with the double-sided tape everything holds in place. So do that to all three legs of this uh, nylon tape. Here's the last third leg. And here's what it should look like when you have it basted appropriately. Voila. Once that's done, we'll use that one as a pattern. So I'm actually going to take some masking tape and I'm going to tape it to my tabletop here so that it doesn't move. Now I'll take my next cone and I will place it on top. The lines that have been plotted should be facing down because we want to put the nylon tape on the opposite side as shown here. Okay, so once that uh, pa first pattern's been done, then take your second cone and uh, roughly tape it on top of the other one and use the other one as a pattern. You should be able to see through the nylon fabric, the ripstop nylon. And then I apply basting tape right to the nylon fabric on all three of those legs. Once the basting tape is applied, then I peel off the uh, paper on the basting tape, revealing the glue on all three of those. And then I take my other lengths of nylon tape, that it which should be cut to 30 inches, match up one end, and then baste it right over the top of that first pattern we made. This is a quick way to do a tedious job, and it's tedious because you have usually so many cones. Usually the smallest kit we sell is about of 100 cones. Now you can go smaller if you'd like, but that's usually a, a 10,000 displacement pound boat. So again, you can see we're doing that with all three, and it goes fairly quick once you have a pattern established. There's one cone. Move on to the next cone after you're done with that one. That's all there is to it, to putting the cones together. Now I won't go to the sewing machine until I actually have all 100 or more cones basted together. Here I am starting with my third cone. It only takes a few minutes to do each cone. And then once they're done, all of them are done, we'll move over to the sewing machine. We'll sew a zigzag along each one of those nylon tapes along the edge. And this is a fairly small zigzag, and make sure that you reverse at the beginning and the end. And you don't necessarily have to use a zigzag. If you only have a straight stitch machine, that works fine as well. But here we have a zigzag, so we're using the zigzag. Do that to all three tapes. When those three tapes are done, then we're ready to move on and sew that cone together. You notice we didn't show sewing all three tapes together, but that's obviously what you want to do before you sew the, the cone together. Otherwise, you're going to have a mistake. As you can see here, we'll base this, the edges of, of this cone together using double-sided tape again. Double-sided tape comes with your kit, and it's very useful. Then we'll uh, fold the uh, cone onto itself with those lines directly on top of each other. Those are the lines that have been plotted on every one of those cones by our plotter in Indiana. Notice the tape, the nylon tape, is inside we'll be reversing this cone after it's been sewn so those uh, nylon tapes will actually be on the outside when this cone is sewn together. I've switched the LSZ1 over to a straight stitch. You definitely want to sew a straight stitch along this uh, outer edge of the cone and I'm reversing it at the beginning and I'll reverse it at the end. I'm sewing directly on top of that plotted line. I will also put a second stitch 
a little bit outside of that plotted line towards the raw edge of this cone material. Once those two line, two uh, uh, stitches are placed on this cone, then we're ready to turn that cone inside out. So here I'm just going to show a little bit of the sewing of this uh, edge next to that other edge we just sewed. There's what it looks like when we're done. Once it's complete, turn that cone inside out. You are done sewing that cone. Again, it's a lot of tedious work because you have so many cones to do, but it's quite easy and it's actually a lot of fun. You'll have an actual process set up once you get going. After about the fourth cone, you're going to be an expert and you're going to move quite quickly. Okay, now once all cones are completed and sewn together, we move to the line. And we want to measure that line according to the diagram shown here. Again, when you see this diagram, you may want to pause your play button so that you can study this. In this illustration, this is the line that has the anchor included at the end. So this is the trailing line, the one furthest out. And that uh, first cone needs to begin two foot away from that thimble that will include the anchor. Then you can see uh, by the illustration that I just take a felt marker and I mark the line appropriately all the way down its length. Now here's the thimble edge. You don't want the cone facing that way, you want it facing this way. And you want to feed each one of those cones into the line. Don't forget to do that. So here's the cone into the line. I'll be demonstrating three different ways that you can install these tapes into the braided line. For the first technique, we'll use the bent latch hook that you can purchase from any good uh, fabric store or craft store. Notice it goes in quite nicely. On the rope, you only want to penetrate the outer sleeve, not the core. Once it's inserted at about uh, three or four of the braided lines, then just take your tape and insert it in the hook, in the latch hook, and then pull it through. That's all there is to it. And then just simply pull it straight through. It's that easy. So if you don't have this uh, bent latch hook, in your sewing accessories, I recommend that you go to a good craft store and pick one up. They're only a couple of bucks. Okay, once the uh, tape has been inserted in the braid, uh, then we'll tie a figure eight knot right at the end of this tape. And that's all there is to it. There are three tapes to insert in this braided uh, line, and we're going to insert them approximately a third uh, of the way around the cord. So the next one's going to go uh, fairly close to this uh, one we installed here. This illustration shows the black nylon tape here. Yours may not be black in your kit. Uh, it's placed about a third of the distance all the way around the rope. So we'll take that uh, bent hook again, insert it into the line. We're going to insert it so that it's parallel to the line and then we're going to go about 45 degree angle so we'll uh, give it a little bit of a bend so now I'm at a 45 degree angle from the rope and we come out about three or four braids and there we go the lash hooks all the way in insert the tape again into the hook the uh, uh, the, the uh, little ladder that bends back or the hook that bends back just goes back automatically once you pull it through the braid and voila that's all there is to it so there's the second of the nylon tapes inserted into the braided line. Tie a figure eight knot here. And then now we move on to the third one. Okay, there's the second one installed. So they're about a third of a, uh, the way around the line. One, two, and now the third one will go right about here. So again, we take our, our uh, bent latch hook and insert it in the line about uh, a 45 degree angle going through about uh, three to four braids, or I should say strands and exit it, insert the tape, and pull it back through again. That's all there is to it. Again, this is what I believe is the best tool. We're doing it right on top of the marked position for that cone, which we've already marked on the, on the line. You've got to make sure the cone is inserted on the line as well. If the uh, tape needs to be straightened out, pull out excess cord. That's always easier to tie the figure eight knot by pulling out excess cord. Tie the figure eight knot, and there you have it. Now this is the large end of the cone. Computer. At the large end of the cone, there should be about two or three inches of slack in the straps when the drogue line is taut. The slack allows the mouth of the cone to open fully underwater. 
The second technique is just to use some wire. This is one of the yard uh, uh, flags that you can purchase at any hardware store. And you can also use a, an oversized uh, paper clip. We're going to bend a U into this wire using a needle nose pliers, and then we're going to bend the uh, tip of this to make it fairly small. And we use this to insert the tape into the double braid line. This works very well. And I bend it uh, so that it's fairly small at this one end. That makes it easier to go through the braided line. Now we we'll use this wire. This is a very inexpensive way to, uh, uh, to put insert these tapes in the braided line. I'm only going to do one of them here, but basically just insert it into the braid, just like we did earlier. I'm about uh, parallel with the rope. Then I go about a 45 degree angle from it, insert it into about three three of the line braids and come out. And now I don't push it all the way through. All I do now is just insert the uh, nylon tape through that loop and then pull it right back out. This is the second most easiest way to install the uh, tapes in your braided line. There it is. That's all there is to it. Tie a figure eight knot and you are done. Now we're working on the small end of the cone. There should be about one to three inches between the knots and the small Here. end of the cone uh, when it's installed appropriately. And there's how it functions. The third and final way of installing these tapes is to use a Super Snake splicing tool. This tool works okay, but not as good as the other two methods shown earlier. Uh, to use it, poke a hole in your nylon tape, insert the tool's hook in that tape. Then I take my Super Snake splicing tool and I insert the hook into that hole which I've in, uh, placed inside that nylon tape. I take some masking tape. You definitely want the masking tape on top of the super snake where the uh, wire becomes thickest. So right on top, start that tape and just uh, uh, put it in on that super snake and then just start wrapping it until it, and then wrapping it down over the hook. This will create a very clean entry into your double braid line. Otherwise it's very difficult to do, but doing it this way takes only minutes to splice each one of these uh, nylon tapes into your double braid line. Here's that mark I made and I just simply want to massage the rope a little bit to separate. You do not want to go through the core. You only want to go through the outer sleeve. I start it fairly parallel with the rope then I move it up about 45 degrees and come through the line a couple lines there. Just leave room for three insertions at that same point. So you're going to work around that line and insert three different lines. You're going to tie a figure eight knot in every one of these uh, rip stop or every one of these nylon uh, tapes. Now the hardest part of this thing is probably removing the tape after each one of these things. It only takes a few minutes. I had it down to an art and was able to finish a single cone with the six legs in about 12 minutes. So the more practice, the faster you get. If you have a good weekend and you work at it fairly steady, you can easily put your entire series drogue kit together uh, probably in a matter of two to three to maybe four days. Uh, but it's, it's fun work because it just becomes easier and easier as you do it. All right, so once that's been straightened out, you just want to do that to all, the, all of the legs of the nylon tape. And each cone from large mouth to large mouth should be approximately a 20 inch spacing when you're done. So you have a long length of line. You'll have larger lines that are lead to smaller lines near the trailing edge of your series drogue, obviously depending on the size of your boat. Uh, you want to follow those Coast Guard recommendations in the chart you can find in the catalog or on the website. Here's what the series drogue will look like when it's assembled. You definitely want a 75 foot lead line as shown here. You also want two lines for the bridle, and each bridle sh leg should be about 2.5 times the transom width, plus about two foot for uh, the splicing. And you can see here the eye splice to eye splice transition between the line sizes, if you have line sizes in your series drogue kit. And then obviously at the end you would have a mushroom anchor. Now here's the line to line splicing that we've done. Now if you'd like to learn how to do splicing, we have an excellent video on that. Uh, you'll find that under one of the uh, splicing wands. If you'd like to see exactly how to do splicing, I would uh, recommend purchasing that video. And uh, that's probably the most difficult part about uh, putting the series drogue together is right here at the splices. And know also that Sailorite does provide the cones 
as an individual purchase or the cones and line together as an individual purchase. Hey, I'm Eric Grant with Sailrite. It's fun doing these projects and I hope you have a good time doing it too. It's a great uh, investment for your boat and especially for the ones you love on your boat. Uh, the Series Drogue Kit from Sailrite. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.